Hi, my name is Greg Tyler at Graco. I'm going to do a short video today on the reassembly of the ProConnect endurance pump. This pump is used on our units from the 190PC through to the 495. So today we've already disassembled the pump. We have some of the components laid out for a component ID. The key components of the pump are the main pump body, which includes the cylinder, which is a working surface. We have the pump inlet housing, which holds the inlet ball and seat, and the inlet cage. The seat is a reversible. Working inside the pump, we have our pump piston, which houses the piston valve, which incorporates the outlet ball and the hardened seat. The piston rod is seals between the piston and the rod using the piston packings and the fluid is sealed from the pump to the atmosphere by the throat packings. The throat packings are sealed by the pack throat packing nut which also includes the reservoir for the throat seal liquid and the piston valve uh, sorry the piston rod packings are mounted via the piston valve. So once we've opened our new kit of replacement parts, you'll see in this kit there are a few different items. We've got the, the inlet and outlet balls. We've got a series of the packings. We've got the throat nut cover. And we also have a series of O-rings. For speed on this assembly, we're not replacing the O-rings, but for example, there's an O-ring on the body, there's an O-ring in underneath the seat, and a couple others as we work through. And there's that. So first of all, we will really reassemble the, the piston assembly. First of all, we put the wiper in that works to open in this direction to clear the cylinder as it oscillates. Then we put in the lower gland, packing gland, then our packing stack, which the leather which of which the leather glands would have been soaked prior to the rebuild in a light oil. Then we put the upper packing gland, our outlet ball, and then assemble the whole piston valve stack. And tech put the balls in place. We now would normally grab this piston via a vise and we would torque the piston valve to 37 newton meters. Just going to demonstrate how we use a torque wrench to set the preload on the piston valve that connects into our rod in the center of the pump. The importance of setting the correct torque for the piston valve is that it presets the load on the gland packings so that they have the, the correct preset against the cylinder so that the pump will hold pressure. I get people to do this when they have just starting out building pumps because it's actually quite a significant amount of torque in order to hold the 3,300 PSI rating of our units. There you go, that torque wrench was set to 37 Newton meters and it's plus or minus four. So it doesn't need to be exact, but it's a good feel for people who are just starting out to do that up front and helps maybe down the track. So once that piston has been assembled, we put it to the side and now we start working on our, our pump body. And the pump body also has a set of packings up at the throat, we call the throat, which separates the fluid from the air these work in a similar way, and they have a lower packing gland. And we have our packings and our upper packing gland. And then we usually put the throat nut in loose. If we over tighten at this stage, it becomes very hard to put the piston valve through. So usually then we'll assemble the piston valve. That's been 
piston rod assembly. Once that's in place, we'll torque that up. And that also has a, has a torque rating. It can be done with a you know, 25 to 50 mil C-spanner if you have the correct tool. So now we've, we've assembled our pump. The main thing to focus on with these pumps is that just like the Graco G symbol, the two packings should face each other. So the pressure inside the pump acts to open up the glands so they act upon the working surfaces. The working surfaces are the, the cylinder wall and the rod, rod shaft. Once that's assembled and uh, torqued up, ready to go, we can reassemble the inlet, which involves putting the seat in, the ball and the cage, and reassembling the whole unit. Again, this has a quite a high torque rating, which can be found in the manual. Once the pump's been rebuilt, we would usually put it on a machine, then run the machine up to pressure and check that the pump has been rebuilt correctly by seeing it sit at that pressure, maybe 3000 PSI for a minute or two. If the pump changes over, that means there is some bypass of material in the pump, which could mean either the preload on the packings is out or possibly the, the cylinder or, pist or rod may be worn and need replacement. If that's the case, we disassemble, replace those parts and repeat the process. Hoping that helps. Thank you.